Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in it's a over, world of JK. trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Or tail the tape for this featherweight fight. Both fighters are 31, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, fighting out of Lee Summit, Missouri, Butcher. And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. 
Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him, and this is with it there. Nice. He is all about that left kick to the body. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, nice jab to the head by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Whip his hip into that kick. Watch knees to the body. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, missed on that one. Big leg kick lands. some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Keep your hands up. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Well-placed kick there by Lee. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Defensively, as he blocks the shot, he's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Buckled him earlier in the fight, and the fighter is still open to damage there as he continues to target that sensitive area. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, he somehow ate that overhand. Wow. Changes his stance. 15 seconds. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Slips the punch nicely there. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Lee. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Good punch lands. Powerful leg kick lands. Straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Big elbow there, Lance. An uppercut in. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He's very tricky when he throws that body. Nice. There's no tell on that leg kick. Another big leg kick lands. And Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. What a punch. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Huge head kick. Oh, big elbow. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Lee's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. 20 seconds left to go in round two. He loaded up there on that high kick. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Whoa! How about those five minutes? Both guys have absorbed a lot of punishment here tonight. Exciting fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Oh, 
All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick and sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, big punch lands. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. -off. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pours blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes with your opponent. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big punch lands. Ooh. Leg kick. Oh, nice call right here. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. The bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. And there comes the separation now. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, a huge block there. Strong outside leg kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Beautiful leg kick throw. Still 
still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, big head kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Just missed with that right hand. Fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Big knee. That right hand hurt him a little and bit. Both guys really throwing with authority. Big that knee lands there. That knee hurt him. Knee to the body. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Nice loop and punch. His leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, can I take many? Oh! The dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Big kick land. Throws the right hand there. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Nice punch by Lee. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at how he drives his team right into his opponent's midsection. Right hook to the head. Block. How about that shin? Time the shot pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy. Oh, and very goes down again. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. from the top here by Lee. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. I mean, how many can he take? 
match. Referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. 45 seconds remain in the round. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh. Seconds to go now. Real quick leg kick. 20 seconds left. He's out! He got him! I should say so. A tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush. Full force, full extension. And he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Abel Dean's called to stop for this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. So there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public.